Hello students, this is Vanita Rajkopal, Assistant Teacher of Triveni Public School. Welcome you all to the History Class of Grade 6th. Children, in your lower grades from 3rd to 5th, you were studying Social Studies. But from 6th grade onwards, Social Studies will be divided into two parts. The first part will be history and civics and the another one is geography firstly let us know what is history history is a study of past events it is a study of past events connected with a particular person or thing so it is a study of past events related to a particular person or Thing. In this session, we will discuss about the topic, the early river valley civilization, Indus. Look at the map. You can see the locations of the early river valley civilizations. The Indus river valley civilization, you can see the Egyptian, the Mesopotamian, and the Chinese civilization. All these civilizations are all the examples of the early river valley civilizations. Here arise a question, what is civilization? Civilization is an advanced state of human society with a high level of culture, science, industry and government. So civilization, it is an advanced state of human society in the field of culture, science, industry and government. Now, what are the reasons for these civilizations to settle near the rivers? Why these civilizations flourished near the rivers? All of you know that rivers supply plenty of water. So water is a basic need for every living organisms. So water could be used for variety of purposes like cooking, washing, drinking and irrigation of crop fields. So you know that to grow crops water is very much needed and the fertile land is also very important so on the banks of the river you know that fertile land will be there so these civilizations settle near these rivers at the same time a river provided fish for food and means of transport the areas near the rivers were very fertile. So cultivation of crop was very easy. Origin, extent and discovery of Indus Valley Civilization. So where this Indus Valley Civilization origined and when Indus Valley Civilization developed in about 2600 BC on the banks of river Indus and its tributaries. So it flourished on the banks of river Indus and its tributaries. Extent of Indus Valley Civilization Indus Valley Civilization extended to Punjab, Sindh, Northwest Frontier Province, Baluchistan, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat and some parts of South India. Now discovery of Indus Valley Civilization. Who discovered? Who are those historians or archaeologists? It was R.D. Banerjee and R.B. Dayaram Sani 
who carried out excavation in Larkana district of Sindh province and Montgomery district of Punjab. R.B. Dayaram Sali discovered the ruins of Arapa in 1921. So, R.B. Dayaram Sani discovered the ruins of Arapa in 1921, while R.D. Banerjee unearthed the ruins of Mohenjadaro in 1922. And as the sites of excavation were along the river Indus and its tributaries, Historians called it the Indus Valley Civilization and it was also called Harappan Civilization because as Harappa was the first site to be discovered. So it was also known as Harappan Civilization. Harappa and Mohanjadaro were well-developed cities of Indus Valley Civilization. You can see the map that Harappa and Mohanjadaro are on the northern west frontier province. Now, main features of the Harappan Civilization. Harappans had well excellent town planning with special attention to roads and drainage system. Cities were divided into two parts, citadel or the upper town and the lower town. Citadel placed on the upper platform consisted of important building structures like assembly hall, great bath and granaries. Now lower town on the lower land it consisted of residential area. So citadel placed on upper platforms it consisted of important buildings, public buildings. And uh, the other part that is the lower town, that is the lower land, it consisted of residential area. Now, let us discuss about roads and drainage system of Harappans. The main streets were straight and broad. They ran parallel to each other and were cut at right angles by roads. And the corners of the roads were rounded and curved so as to make it easier for cars to turn. And the streets were built with burned bricks. And these streets some streets were even had a lighting system as lamp post. 